that I have this finished, I'd like to explain. Uh, taking the original sheath, you know, I, I like to do that before I go making leather sheaths. And it's just to show folks what they could do with just, you know, scraps laying around or just some spare survival stuff or whatever. And you can take something like just the sheath itself. You can hang, you can hang that off pretty good. You've got a nice clip there to hang things off and you've got a good draw to this blade you've got a good grip by adding some ranger bands to it and a cut you a, a full-size cork just cut it in half put one in the front and then one in the back there and just fill it up with whatever type of survival gear you want i kind of gave you some ideas it was mainly fire uh, fire starting type stuff and with this i did the pace counter at the top so you can count your pace so you know how far you're going and I did it like this because uh, on average, if in a situation you're going to take this, you're going to already have everything out of here. And this is going to be in a walking stick fashion. So it's going to be something you can spear and stab with as, you know, if you're in a survival situation, you've already converted this and the con contents are already removed. So this would be hanging off of, but you could still use the paste counter just fine on here. So you got to think ahead and... Let's put that back in its sheath. I opened up the bottom a bit. I showed that. And I, I don't know why I did, but I opened up the bottom here a little bit to let a little bit more water out. This is steel. This will rust if it starts to get worn. So I have to make sure that no water, if it starts, I start getting rained on, you want to make sure the water drains out a lot faster than that tiny little hole at the end. It's really small. Water is really just going to build up in there and rust. So you want to make sure you have uh, drainage pretty good. I went ahead and did electrical tape down here on the end. It's just to have something to repair gear and cinch things up with. And you want to have plenty of paracords. I didn't waste no time with that. I didn't do some fancy wrap or anything. I just did a simple wrap with a pull and it tightens it all up and it's on there. And it's not going anywhere. So I uh, went ahead and did a full survival kit. You guys kind of seen what that was to give you some ideas. I mean, anything from water purification, fire starting, to fishing. You know, and there's there's a million different things you can do and a million ways to skin a cat. Uh, over here, I just changed this ferrule rod out to something a lot better than, you know, if you, um, you know, there's there's so many different brands uh, of, you know, Exotac and, and stuff like that and make all these different uh, types of gear. It's good to try and take something that's, don't throw the old one away. You're just kind of doing a little upgrade. So I just wanted to show that as well. That's really all I got. Uh, these rubber bands, uh, you uh, if, for those of you that keep seeing me use crazy rubber bands on the channel, uh, you go to um, in in the Amazon store link. I do put all this craziness in there. It just you just got to go and look. Even you know the sealing packages for this and stuff. I put all this stuff in that Amazon store. So if you guys want to check it out, it, and uh, monster rubber bands, uh, uh, I'll throw those in there as well. Just nothing but monster rubber bands. They're just huge. And you can, they're black, they're tactical. They burn easy. So if you take them and you chop them up, you can have some good uh, fire tender to, uh, well, yeah, it would be a fire tender. Yeah, a decent fire tender, something that can get wet stuff dry. You got to think of everything, right? So uh, pretty much everything here has a use and it's very lightweight. And this is also a great throwing knife for those of you that don't know. Uh, it does land and stick very well. It's another good item to have. All right. That's all I got. Please share the videos. Please like. Please subscribe. God bless. Take care.